Thank you very much for advising us. Of the members of parliament that NTV has spoken to all say, censuring MP Francis Zaki as a commissioner has sent the House into new territory, which will have consequences on the running of the House affairs. I even think that maybe the speaker should have gone to court because we, we are setting a problematic, a problematic precedent um, that whoever will annoy the deputy speaker because she's powerful and untouchable, she will then deal with you. We, we don't want to create so many dictators. Really. The clerk at parliament, he can petition the speaker and the formal process starts and you are removed. So it removes the protection of, of, of a commissioner. Yet those protections were a safeguard. You can't simply remove a speaker, you can't simply remove a commissioner. So I am, I am worried that this can happen in Pandora box. Because even an MP can say that I was abused by a commissioner, so and so. And an MP6, a formal process to have you removed. This shouldn't have been a public affair. But leadership is what has got us here right now. All the lack of leadership in that process. So I believe this was wrong on, uh, and it should never have happened. These politicians argue that the intention of parliament could have been to create fear among a section of MPs on addressing some affairs. I believe that any person who fears knows why they fear what they fear. But I believe that we as members of parliament and the opposition, this is not going to derail us from representing citizens of Uganda. It's not going to curtail us from speaking our minds both in parliament and outside parliament. But also to say that now whoever will annoy the speaker, because maybe even what I'm saying now, she will watch it and say, how can this Joel Senyonyi challenge my authority? Let me censure him as chairperson of, of Kosase. And I don't really care about that. But I will speak what I think is important to speak. If I see something is going wrong, I'll say, no, this is wrong. The trouble that this causes is that commissioners will fear to express themselves. Because you can be removed just the way the Honorable Zaki was removed. On the process that led to the censuring of Zake, the MPs cited some irregularities during the course. That's what I'm saying it's problematic for the speaker to be the chief complainant, to be the judge, and to be the executioner. Because she's conflicted in this matter. And, and I would understand for her to you know, be emotionally attached because she says she was offended the same way the Honorable Zake was hurt because of There are many things that that parliament does irregularly and they stick. So I don't see that this one because it was done irregularly. I mean, when we went to court, when the age limit was, was removed, we had been beaten, invaded, but court said it is okay, okay, sorry you were beaten, but the decision was taken. Rule 11 that establishes the Parliamentary Commission also provides for the nomination of members of the Parliamentary Commission. What happens if the opposition decides to return Zake? Anybody that is a member of parliament, including the Honorable Zake, would certainly qualify. But I don't want to be quick to jump to now are you who are you going to appoint or reappoint him you know he is uh, eligible for reappointment that's all they say they don't say if we censure this one and we take back and uh, we censure this person and and you send us the next or please send us a different person or if we censure this person don't send back the same person it is very the rules are silent on that the moment you have been removed it is not possible that you can be brought back because you see even by the practice of parliament, because parliament works by its rules and also by the practice of commonwealth. That's why a matter in parliament on which you have made a decision, you cannot reintroduce it in parliament during the same session. You will need a formal process for a motion to be moved. I think the Honorable Zake, this having been a decision of parliament, he can only be reinstated if Noop appoints him and parliament approves him, maybe. But I don't see this parliament that removed him sitting to say now we have come to approve Zaki. So that makes it complicated. NUP spokesperson who doubles as MP for Nakawa West, Joel Senyonyi says, as a party, they are also exploring options of challenging the censure of Zaki in court. Jumakiria, NTV. It's already 8 p.m.